Hi, this is Ted, the Calgary Painter. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, roll a door. You know, 95% of the time we do uh, spray our doors, but in this, in this case, there's no room to spray them. It's raining outside. Um, the hardwood floor has been installed already. We painted the walls a couple of weeks ago. The owner decided to put new doors up. So they have to take off all the frames, readjust them, put the, the door stops in. So we filled in the nail holes first using this product called 3M Pass Plus Primer. The best stuff for walls and trim. Because it's got a primer built in, this will never flash. Which is a, it's a game changer. It's, it really is. It dries quickly. So we fill in the nail holes, sand them. And then I apply the, uh, the tape. Show you how it's done. Now this paint, it's called Regal. I did a review of it in my last video. If you're interested. Phenomenal brushing paint and rolling paint. Low VOC. Made by Benjamin Moore. We are using the semi gloss. It's got a very long open time, so it's not going to ruin the finish if you go over it. I know many of the uh, new paints nowadays. You apply the paint and you know 30 seconds later you try and go over it, it's going to mess up the finish. That's actually true of their, their top of the line called Aura. One of the reasons I don't like it. Or it's fine when you spray it. But I'll do a review of Aura in another video. I've actually used the bath and spa for an entire house. It's got a beautiful matte finish, very durable. So obviously you cut in the sides first, being careful not to uh, spill onto the freshly painted walls. color is called Oxford White CC30. The wall color is called Classic Gray OC23. It's just a beautiful combo. My uh, designer picked this out. What are her favorites as well? In fact, here's the tip. If I was selling a house, this is exactly the combo I'd use. The subtle off white, so it basically goes with everything, all your furniture, soft, very, very off white. You basically want, when you're selling a house, you want to cater to the most people possible. So you don't want to be using any dark colors. So I'm starting with the door. Cut in the bottom first. I like to start at the bottom, work my way, 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 work my way up. Thank you. 
Obviously, spraying these panel doors is a hell of a lot easier than brushing them, but I made this video because, you know, most people do not own a sprayer or know how to use a sprayer. And if you're going to buy doors and you plan on brushing them, buy the doors that have a, have a grain to them. You know, the hollow core doors that have been stamped and have a grain. That way, the rolling and brushing is going to blend out perfectly. You won't be able to see it. It'll actually look straight. Especially when using this Benjamin more Regal. Like, a lot of paints, if you, if you uh, cut in this mortise part here, or stamp part of this panel door, and try and roll it, you know, four or five minutes later, it's going to spoil the finish. So oftentimes you have to basically brush in this part and wait for it to dry and smooth it out like this. Feather it out and then wait for it to dry and then roll it carefully. But not with this regular, you do it all at once, which is a time saver. Before I started painting these doors and frames, I put paper on the floor. Good idea to put paper and tape around your door frames. And then I put a drop sheet because you know the drop sheets tend to move. So I always paper them first. Regal is it does tend to slide. You gotta be fairly careful when you were slinging the paint around. This got some on my face. That's why you cover the surrounding area. Unlike other paints, like there are other lines called Ben, it's a much thicker paint, and I wouldn't recommend it for trim. Unless you really thinned it out a hell of a lot. And not with water. The disadvantage with thinning it out with water is you know it's gonna reduce the coverage. We often use a paint conditioner for that. Now you, didn't, you, do, you do not want to uh, reduce coverage with off-whites or even whites. They just do not cover that well. Although as you can see, there's gray primer. Do the contrast here. Covering pretty damn good. For one color. I know a lot of whites that take three coats to a cover.
You can actually see the grain that flows. You can't see it on camera, but there's a grain going up and down like this, and there's a grain going across. So you kind of want to roll right to the grain, up and down like this, and smooth it out with the grain this way, and then hit this grain this way. The other side has already been painted, one coat, so the sides have been painted. I didn't take those skins, by the way, with uh, dry tape. So you've got a grain here going up and down, and the grain goes this way, up to here. The grain goes all the way down. The sides, top and bottom, the grain is up and down here. Roll it on, and then come back. The one you already done. And take two coats, like I can say. And we always remove the door handles, by the way, as you can see. Uh, this cutting part still not gummy. It's going on there beautifully. I've been painting a lot of years now. Somebody put a gun in my head and said, what, what's your favorite trim painted brush? This would be it. Even with those somewhat limitations of the uh, paint flinging, you know, the paint flinging around, it's going to be a little bit slower with your brush. Otherwise, you'll be flinging around the paint.
Now I'm just going to go over real quickly with the back roll. This would not be possible with any other paint this deep into the painting process. But you can do it with this paint, so take advantage of it. It will ensure two coat coverage with whites. Now, if this was a dark color, you, know, you wouldn't have to do this. Okay, now you want to go with the grain. That's it. Show you a close up of it. Not bad for the first coat. How long did it take me? Five or ten minutes? Show you the other side. It's been already painted yesterday. One coat. I'll apply another coat today. Sorry about the lighting, but uh, it's a renovation. There's not too many lights in this place. That's one coat. And it's important to take the uh, frog tape off right away. Take it off slowly. This wall was painted two weeks ago, so it's still not 100% cured. It normally takes paint about 30 days to cure. But two weeks is fine. It's, it's not going to peel. But you don't want to be waiting for the paint to dry before taking this off. It may bridge and tear your drywall. That should do it. Before you go start painting, this is Ted Rinchhead, the Calgary painter.